can tell you. Well, no, the lineup. We'll, we'll once this race is finished, we'll go back and tell you how the discus is going. Anyway. So you can um, multitask because you're a woman, but I can only do one thing at once. <laughs> this is the women's four by one relay, T thirty five to thirty eight. So we've got a range of cerebral palsy athletes in here. Uh, you will see different athletes with different levels of cerebral palsy run at different legs. So. Uh, you, some of the faster ones may be at the last leg, some of the f slower ones may be first. So you, this one might be interesting to call because the staggers will be broken differently based on their level of cerebral palsy. This will be the team that I will predict will win. Ukraine. The, the Ukrainian team. And they're going to be in lane three. Nobody in lane two. Rus but Russians in lane four. Watch out for the Russians. It's the Aussies in five. The Aussies in five. You, and, could, you uh, could have been in this. Yes, this is my classification. So I'm a T38, have, have a very mild case of cerebral palsy on my right side, which is you, you're better off having cerebral palsy on your left side because then your right arm could be a strong arm to drive. So I was a little bit more disadvantaged in that. Because, uh, oh, I see, because, of the, tr running, the, track, because the track because the track always goes uh, anti-clockwise. That's why right. I've often wondered why. Well, I asked them to turn it the other way, but they yeah. just didn't listen to me. Why don't we run <laughs> clockwise? And there's the uh, great British team, Olivia Breen, Bethany Woodward, and uh, Katrina Hart and Jenny McLaughlin. And Olivia Breen, just 16 years of age, still got her braces on, and uh, she's going to be running the opening leg. So it's Ukraine in three, Russia in four, the Aussies in five, hometown Great Britain's in six, China in seven, and Germany in eight. I will say Ukraine, Russia, and China will be in the medals. I'll just be happy if Britain get round without <laughs> dropping the baton. <laughs> because as a country, there's, there's one thing that we always do in relays. We always drop the baton or go too far out of you know the zone where you have to hand over the baton. And uh, Well, this will be really important for, for girls with cerebral palsy. I know they've been training hard with their changes. So let's hope that each country gets a good, clear change. So I'll just run through the lanes again. Lane three is the... Uh, Inside lane with the Ukraine, then Russia in four, Aussies in five, Britain in six, China in seven, Germany in the outside lane eight. It's for runners with cerebral palsy, T35 up to T38. And this is the one that Katrina Webb would be in if she hadn't given up the sport to become a commentator and socialite. <laughs> and off they go, and going very well indeed. China in lane seven. China going really well, the Germans are going backwards. China leaving it out. China are the first to exchange. Also going well are Australia. Great Britain tracking well as well. It's all run in lanes, of course, though. Great Britain catching the Chinese. The Aussies going very well indeed. The Russians and the Ukrainians on the inside. And I it's think, a very uh, poor handover from the Chinese, and the Britons are flying. The, they are flying, and I think Australia might have just been DQ'd then. I just saw one of our athletes stepping out of the lane. We'll look for that result at the end. Last changeover, what have we got? The Great Brits are flying, they're using that... Oh, can they get the change? Oh, did Great Britain hand over in time? I don't think they did, and the Russians are going to come storming through. The Aussies, we think, are disqualified, and Britain, I think, are going to be disqualified as well. And look at that Chinese Chinese. run away! she come from? She's flying! And that's the makeup of the different disability groups, so they might have had a 38 running last. So depending on where they stage their team, this will be an interesting race. I'm not sure whether we're going to have a couple of DQs, so we're just going to have to wait. Well, the Russian girl doesn't look very happy, so were, were their chain of changeovers all legal? She looks a bit worried. No, she's smiling now, so I think Russia have got it. Uh, China obviously had a, a T38 running the last yes. leg, the least disabled of all, I would say, because she came absolutely storming through. Britain, I think, on the handover from three to four, went beyond the yellow line where you have to hand over, yes. so I think they're going to be disqualified. The Aussies, you thought, went out of the lane, so they could be disqualified. Could be carnage. It could be carnage. Which is a shame. And I did say that as a nation, we are terrible at passing the buttons. I think we're control freaks. We don't like, no, it's my <laughs> button. You're not having it. And the Russians have certainly won the gold. And we're still waiting for the official results here because I think they'll be having to check maybe the footage to see whether athletes did run out of their lanes. Absolutely. It's the first time this relay has been run at Paralympic level. Here we go, watching Katie Parrish here as she... Oh, no, it was on when she first came out, she's, when she's handing over there. I didn't see the Ukrainian. She fell. The Ukrainian girl fell very heavily. I hope she's A OK. A race full of dramas. It was an extraordinary race, wasn't it? 
Russian powering through. I think the Russians are the only team that uh, have had successful changes and uh, got through with a perfect race. The pressure of competing. How were you on button changes when you were running? No, we never had relays when I was running. Never had so, the relay. Uh, never had to experience this. It hadn't been invented. No, they hadn't been invented. <laughs> <laughs> That's how long ago you were running. <laughs> oh, thank you. No, look, we don't see many relays in the, the Paralympic Games, but we will, we will as, as we get more and more athletes involved, particularly from other areas I've talked about from developing countries. This is a good example of all the countries that have got great Paralympic programs in place. I really hope that Ukrainian girl is okay. She had a, quite a strong fall there at the back of the screen. We're still waiting for these results. But uh, I think we can say that the Russians have got it, but the Chinese girl came absolutely storming through there. And with Great Britain, if they're not DQ'd, picking up the bronze medal.